So basic stretching, again, today we're gonna to come back to the basics a little bit. We're gonna explain those details a little bit. So we're gonna start with, these are all parts of our staple warm up. We're gonna start with legs wide, okay? So I always do maybe about six or so inches past my shoulders. So we draw imaginary lines from my shoulders straight down. You can see each foot is sticking out just a little further than that. Uh, depending on your flexibility, maybe you wanna go at the shoulder width apart. I always go just a little bit further, but again, I've been doing this for a long time. Now from here, I wanna stretch down to the center. And what I want to do, in class we do a slow count of 10. Realistically, we're holding this for about 30 seconds. So we're here, Hana, Du, Set, Net, Dasa, Yasa, Ilgo, Yodo, Aha, Yo. So again, I'll count that way, and then the students are repeating after me as I'm doing that. Uh, that usually work, works out to about 30 seconds or so, give or take. Basically, when you're stretching, you want to hold that position, any position, for that amount of time or longer. If you're doing less than that, it's not enough time for your body to remember it. It's not enough time for you to retain the stretch. Now, what's the problem? Well, I can't get all the way down to my toes even when my legs are really, really wide. Okay, that's fine. Same as with the exercises. We go just a little bit. Maybe this is as far as I can go. You know, I'm sitting at the desk all the time. I've been sitting at the house. This is, everything is stiff back here. All right, no problem, we're here. Then what do we do next time? Well, we try to go a little further. Next time, well, we try to go a little further. After that, a little further. After that, a little further. Stretching in particular is about slow, steady progress, just because it just takes more time to develop that range. So I'm doing the 30 seconds here in this direction. One minute is better. Now I'm gonna go to this side. Same thing. In a perfect world, opposite hand to the outside of your opposite leg. We can't do that, that's fine. We'll start here. 10 seconds, right? 20 seconds, 30, we're here. Now we're going here, now we're going here. Now we're going until we get it all the way where we need it. The knee is straight. A lot of people go, well now I can touch it. Well, the touching isn't the important part. It's the keeping this straight and pulling is the important part. Here, right? I'll do that. Now I'm gonna come over here to this side, this way. Same thing, perfect world, this hand over here, knee is perfectly straight, so on and so forth. In fact, once I get to here, I can start pulling my head towards my knee, things like this. That's okay if I can't get it. Maybe I got this far, right? Oh, it's very tight over here. Okay, it's really, really fucking great. All right, now I'm going this way. Oh, really feeling that in the back of the leg. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep going slowly until we can do this eventually. That's the idea with the stretching. The same way we talked about our core and our upper body, we want it to be very strong, we want it to be very in shape. Our legs should be strong, but they should also be supple and pliable. We should be able to do this as a human being. It doesn't even worry about if we're type 1 no fighter or not. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to move from side to side without injury. Holding each position for 30 seconds to a minute is a good way to start, and over time, we're increasing. So once we've done these three directions, I like to usually do 30 seconds in each direction twice. So I'm here, we do the count, I'm here, we do the count, I'm here, we go back, then we do another set, back to here, back to here, back to here. From there, I like to put the hands in the middle. Again, you can bend your knees or you can just reach. It all depends on your flexibility. Now, what I do next is I'm gonna slide on my heels. So I've got my toes off the floor and I just start sliding, again, just to about as far as I can, okay? I never wanna force the stretch. I always wanna think about falling into my stretch. Now, again, we wanna hold here for a minute. We wanna give that leg time to realize, oh yeah, we can go a little further, right? Now I slowly walk my hands back, and then I'm here, and we'll talk about that in the next piece. But for right now, we can't get that far. No problem. Come back up. Again, we can bend, and we can just slide on the feet, okay? Slide on the heels should just make it easier. It's not like a punishment. We're not trying to grind our heels. We're just trying to slide, okay? If I can't go this far, that's no big deal. A lot of people start out, and they just go like this, and then they just walk the feet out a little more. They just walk the feet away. A lot of people, they start out, they can't even get this far. So they're just trying to get to this. Once they start getting to that, maybe they can just walk the foot out. Maybe if you want to be symmetrical, do the other foot. Do the other foot. Do the other foot. Eventually, I'm going to get able to get to that full range. Then I sit back. Okay? Once I'm here, my legs are as wide as I can go. I put a lot of stress and tension on them. The tendency of the legs is to curl back in. So we need to say, I come up, I keep my head up, my back straight, just because that's good for my posture, working this core idea again. Couple deep breaths. I do in through the nose, out through the mouth. 10 seconds, doesn't need a lot, we just need the legs to have a minute to realize we're not in any danger, we're not tearing anything. Now, I start reaching out towards the front again. And again, it's that same thing as when we were standing up. 
right? We want good 30 seconds to a minute here, good 30 seconds to a minute here, good 30 seconds to a minute here. A lot of my people that are a little bit more stiff, even just getting to this part, right? They get here and they can't reach forward. That's okay, we're, that's the goal. Maybe we find a wall and we go up against the wall and we're just getting to where we can hold ourselves here, up against the wall. Once we can do that, now we wanna be able to hold this by ourselves. Once we can do that, now we wanna start reaching. If we can't put the hands on the floor, put the hands on the floor, we just start reaching. And we just slowly over time, same thing here. Maybe this is all I can do. Maybe I can't even turn this, right? Okay, here. Eventually there, eventually there. Yes, same thing the other way, right? This is what I got, oh, very tight, very stiff. Okay, can't do it, all right? Now here, 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 down, right? Over time, I'm doing these things to increase. That's what we wanna do with that. Once I get to that, I wanna bring one leg in, the other leg out, same thing. Maybe just getting to this is, is tough, right? I've never had, a real flexible hip from this side, but that's a good one, right? Just start working on pushing that flat. Just start working on bringing that, start working on getting that leg out more. Then we start reaching, okay? Same thing on the other side. This leg goes out, this leg goes in. And again, you can see that, so it was a little bit more flexible, right? So this one's going down, that's fine. Start going that way, right? Start bringing it tighter, start changing the angle. Just like that. When we get done with that, we're going to feet together. Same thing, one here, Start reaching towards those toes, right? We get that, same thing. Bring in the butterfly, we're here, just like that. We start pulling, we start pushing with the elbows down on the knees, you can see that pushing motion I'm using there, right? And then grabbing here, start doing pulling towards the center. All right, so that's our stretching, guys. Again, slow, steady progress. We want 30 seconds to a minute in each direction, and just start what you can, and slowly build over time.